just thought that you just wanted to be friends. I don't think we can ever be just friends. Cause I just wanna look for you. I can't stop thinking about you. You are stunning. Nothing could ever change the way that I feel about you. Just be careful. What happened? It has to do with heart. Something's going on, but it's not what you think. You're making a big mistake. It's gonna break your heart. What are you dreaming about? Please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Josephine Langford, Hero Finds Tiffin, and Anna Todd. <laughs> wow, guys, we are very honored to have you here. Thank and the you. film, how can I even describe it in one word? The film is exciting, thrilling, Steamy. hot, scary, sexy. <laughs> I was, I felt all, a lot of emotions all at once. Yes. But for those few people who don't know anything about it, could you <laughs> kind of give us a little short explanation of what this film is roughly about? The coming of age love story, girl meets boy. <laughs> That's it good. Down. That, is, it down. that yeah. is down. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, and what can fans of the book expect in this film as an adaptation? An adaptation. A different way to tell the same story. Um, we worked really hard on it, trying to keep it the essence of the story there for you guys. So, we just hope that you guys love it as much as we do. All right. And Josephine Hero. Did you guys, were you guys fans of the book before? And what was the process, the audition process like getting involved in this film? No, we had, we, neither of us had any idea of it or the size of it, um, which is obviously quite strange considering every single other person in the world does. <laughs> Literally a billion people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the audition process for me was, I did an audition, didn't hear back. Another one came around, did it again, <laughs> didn't come, d didn't hear much, came back around. I think like the fourth or fifth time I did a Skype call and then I was flown out to LA for a chemistry read and I was like, oh, okay, they might be a little bit interested. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I was kind of unofficially offered the role and a month later I flew to Atlanta and, and we got started. Wow. Mm. I auditioned for a different character and then I had a Skype call back and then I got a call at 5 a.m. saying, do you want to come to LA and meet for Tessa instead? Wow, so that's because um, you read for a more minor yeah. character because you're yeah. protagonist of the story. So was that exciting for you to be like, wait a second, okay, I underestimated my own talent? Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Anna, I'm a directioner. To me, you are a god, literally. Like, what you accomplished, I am such a fan. Thank you. So for those of you who don't know, but all of you know, because you're a, but the audience is full of fans, this started on Wattpad, and I mean, that is huge. You were just writing fan fiction. This was just something you did for fun. Can you tell us about, like, the journey of how, over the past five years, like, it just became this movie, this like, huge thing. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the short version, um, or shortish version. Um, I just started as a hobby. I was at home with my son who has special needs. My husband was in the army. So a lot of time to read and write. And I was reading a lot on Wattpad. I only wanted to read fan fiction. When I started, just literally like black hole into Wattpad, I couldn't get out. Still haven't gotten out um, in the best way. And I decided one day to just entertain myself. I didn't think anyone was going to read it or anything at all. And I posted a chapter and then people just, I, not slowly, but it felt slowly, um, started reading it. And then publishing houses were interested. And then movie studios are interested. And here we are. Amazing. And was there one moment where you realized that what you were doing was so much big bigger than just fanfic on the internet? Yeah, when I went to make a Twitter account and I couldn't because everybody took like every name possibly related to <laughs> after. <laughs> and I, as a fan, I know like role playing is like huge. So once people take their time away from not only just reading it, but like their free time, they spend like still in the life of the characters. And I remember reading this whole conversation between Tessa and Harden on Twitter and I was like, as characters, and I was like, oh, this is totally different than like seeing numbers on Wattpad doesn't really do much it's cool but it doesn't feel like actual people but when you see people like having conversations as the characters i was like oh yep this is the thing <laughs> and what was it about one direction that inspired you so much i honestly don't know it just there's something there that's like it just makes the music makes me happy and they're like their public personas at least are amazing and it was entertaining and i made so many friends it was more of like 
the fan fiction community mm-hmm. as opposed to like the actual band. Um, but it was so, it was just like a cool place where I felt like I fit in in the fandom and it was fun and I have, I still have so many friends from it. And now I literally like made a living off of being a fan. That's right. amazing. I wasted my time, my time uh, running a GIF blog. So oh, not yeah. as successful. I can't have a <laughs> still, movie, unfortunately. Still dedication, <laughs> yeah. still. But what's cool about you writing on Wattpad, which I found so interesting, is that kind of you wrote, but with the fans' involvement too, which has like n- never really been done before, and really kind of you're changing the game. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, that was to me was the most fun part of it was just having the interaction and knowing like I would literally finish a chapter and just kind of sit there like an evil genius and be like, they're gonna be so mad <laughs> um, or sad or somewhat happy. Um, it was really fun to have that immediate reaction, and then you know. Like I would literally read the comments while starting the next chapter, so then I would know exactly where the emotion is and then keep torturing them. Right, and um, <laughs> Hero and Josephine, you guys play our leads, our heroes, our anti-heroes, <laughs> I you want to call it. What, what similarities do you have to your respective characters and what kind of glaring differences do you have? I have a lot of similarities with a lot of characters I play. Um, I think with Tessa, we're both prone to overthinking. Right. We're both organized. They're both neat. How are we different? Just everything else. Just like life, like your lives are totally different. Just, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, you guys have a lot of things. Organized is good. Yeah. 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 That's why I, I like Tessa. Like I'm also someone who's just like, yeah. got into college, <laughs> like I have a plan. I got yeah. it. <laughs> but then a boy comes around. <laughs> <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> I'd say I'm similar to my character in Obviously, a bunch of ways, all characters you're going to relate to in some ways. And, and I feel like as an actor, you focus more on the differences because that's where more right. work is needed. But I think we're both, I don't know if realist is the right term, but we both have a very, I wouldn't say cynical, but other people <laughs> might. Just a realistic view of things and, okay. uh, you know, kind of like to say it how it is. Uh, he, he definitely more so, but yeah. And differences, I think I like to think of myself as quite a logical person and he's definitely not that. He's a lot more impulsive. Right. Well, do you like playing a bad boy? Because I first time I saw you, you were young Tom Riddle in Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince, and he is <laughs> yes. The, I can make I, I I can talk to snakes. Is that normal? That line, you know. So, do you like playing these kind of bad boy villains? It's ironic that my name is Hero, and I've right. played 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 um, a few roles that are villains. But uh, no, I think it's just it's just a coincidence. Uh, I like to. It's fun, of course, to play those kind of roles, right. but. I wouldn't say I prefer them over, right. over, over any other role. And Anna, what's so amazing about your involvement in this film is unlike most authors, you were heavily involved and actually a producer on it. With casting, I'm sure you were involved as well because you have these characters in your head. So what was that like? Um, and what were you specifically looking for these two characters? Um, before I met them, it was really stressful. Right. Um, the first week was fun and then it felt like because we just had so many auditions and I just knew like literally immediately pretty much even on tapes was like, no, no. And I started feeling like we're never going to find them. Um, and then Hero came first and he was already in the like last kind of three mm-hmm. guys. Um, and it was pretty much instantaneous. The director and I were just like, right. yep, we're done. <laughs> um, and I literally like, well, in a bratty way, literally didn't show up to the other castings the next days. I was like, have fun. Tell me when you're going to hire a hero. <laughs> um, I literally didn't go. Um, sorry to those people that I just bailed on you, but here we are. Um, and then with Josephine, um, it was a different thing where she was auditioning and we had already had someone, but we saw her and we're like, whoa, this is definitely Tessa. It has to be Tessa. Mm-hmm. How do we make this work? And then we did. Right. And Josephine, Selma Blair plays your mother in the film. And we yeah. love Selma Blair. She's such a fantastic actress. Yeah. And she recently just revealed she's battling MS. What was it like working with her as she kind of went through this journey? I mean, she was just great. She was wonderful and professional and hilarious and talented and, and a bucket full of sunshine <laughs> and olives is the, is the phrase I'm using. Um, she's great. She's just so funny. Is she? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. She, you know, you see her in Legally Blonde, she's like hysterical. Every, every time, that scene that, that yeah. is on screen right now, every time we were about to enter the room, she would scream out something like, mangoes. Really? And then walk in, and we're just trying to control our laughter, and she's just like into the same. Did you guys have a lot, I mean, of course the film gets very intense, but did you guys have a lot of comedic moments behind the scenes, like while filming? Yeah, do you know what? They're all funny to us, but like, I feel like it's, you had to be there. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. think they're actually that funny when we relay them at all, but, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we had a laugh, it was cool. 
That's great. Yeah. Mm. What about your fans? Like, obviously, your fans are super dedicated. They're super hyped. Yeah. How has it been? Like, how has their reaction been? Is it? I feel like they're following you guys around. It's, it's, <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah. They are. They are so supportive. Yeah. Um, they're everywhere. They. I was kind of warned guys are by Anna. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I feel like we need to put barriers yeah, on. Like, yeah, I feel like yeah. this is a One Direction concert. Like, get back, I'm a security guard. and I will jump in front of you. No, they, they have been so respectful and so supportive. And yeah, Anna tried to warn us at the start, and I don't think I believe the full I did a the lot. Full, the full like, extent. literally every day. But uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it, and I believe it now. Oh, well, you guys deserve it. Thanks. Thank you.